curious about the upcoming Terraform Authoring and Operations Professional Certification? That's what we'll talk about in this video. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Terraform Tuesdays. I'm Ned Bellavant, nedinthecloud.com, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Terraform Authoring and Operations Professional Certification. And before we get into it, two quick things. First, did you know that I host a weekly podcast called Chaos Lever? Every week, my co-host Chris and I discuss the latest in technology from a historical perspective. It's educational, hopefully entertaining, and as the name implies, it's a little chaotic. You can check it out at chaoslever.com or just subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Second, if you like weekly Terraform things, I recommend checking out Anton Babenko's Terraform Weekly Newsletter. It's a great way to stay up to date on all things Terraform. Link is down in the description. Now let's get into the Terraform Authoring and Operations Professional Certification. A quick note before we get started. The information in this video is based on the current state of the certification as of time of recording. HashiCorp has not yet released the certification for general consumption, so some details may change before the certification is officially launched. They've moved into beta testing the exam, which means the objectives are pretty locked in, but there's a chance that some of them may shift or the exact format of the exam might change, so please keep that in mind as you watch this video. I'll include a link to the certification page in the description so you can check that for the most up-to-date information. With all that in mind, what is the Terraform Authoring and Operations Professional Certification? The Terraform Authoring and Operations Professional Certification, well, it's a mouthful to begin with, so I'm just gonna call it Tau Pro, T-A-O dash Pro for short. That seems a little simpler. It's a new certification from HashiCorp that is designed for practitioners who are responsible for authoring, maintaining, and operating infrastructure as code using HashiCorp's Terraform. The certification is the logical successor to the Terraform Associate Certification, which is aimed at a broader audience of practitioners who might be using Terraform in a variety of different roles, including developers, operators, and security professionals. You can think of two broad categories when it comes to Terraform users. Consumers are those who use Terraform to deploy and manage infrastructure, but who don't necessarily need to understand the deep details of how Terraform works or be able to author complex Terraform configurations and modules. Likewise, they are usually not responsible for setting up the automation and workflows around Terraform. Producers, on the other hand, are those who will write modules for others to consume. They'll set up and troubleshoot complex Terraform configurations. They'll set standards and practices and workflows for Terraform and help consumers refactor and improve their code. To that end, the Tau Pro certification is designed for those in the producer's role. We'll go over the objectives in a moment, but the guiding light here is that you have a deep understanding of Terraform how it works, and have been using it extensively in a production environment. There are a few prerequisites for this certification. The first is to have the Terraform Associate Certification. Now, it's not a hard requirement. You don't absolutely have to have the certification, but it's highly recommended. If you haven't passed the Terraform Associate exam, you're going to have a hard time with the Tau Pro exam. You should also be familiar with the cloud provider that the exam is based on. I'll touch on this in more detail in a moment, but the short version is that you will need to be experienced with AWS, Azure, or GCP, depending on which flavor of the exam you're taking. You should also be comfortable with data formats like YAML and JSON and be able to navigate a Linux-based command line environment. If you're a pure Windows user, you might want to brush up on a few Linux skills before taking the exam. Those are the specific prerequirements, but the implied prereq is that you have extensive experience using Terraform in a production environment. If you've been using Terraform for a few months or just messing around in dev and you just passed your Terraform Associate Cert, you might not be ready for the Tau Pro exam. 
There's really no way to speed run this portion of the preparation, but I'll give you some tips on how to get more experience with Terraform in a moment. The exam itself is a combination of multiple choice and fill in the blank questions, along with hands-on labs. The exam is delivered virtually and proctored, so you'll need a webcam and a quiet place to take the exam. You're given four hours to complete the exam, which is a lot longer than the hour you had for the associate certification. If you've sat the vault operator exam or the certified Kubernetes administrator exam, you should have a pretty good idea of what you're in for. Since the exam involves hands-on labs, it has to use some kind of cloud provider. Where the Terraform associate exam was cloud agnostic, the Tau Pro exam, it really can't be. When the exam launches, it's going to be based on AWS, but HashiCorp plans to release Azure and GCP flavors of the exam as well. So along with having a deep knowledge of Terraform, you'll need to be familiar with the cloud provider that the exam is based on. I'm not talking about being a total expert in AWS, but you should be able to navigate the console, understand the basics of IAM, and know how to set up some of the basic infrastructure components, like a VPC, let's say. If you've been using Terraform in production AWS environments, you should be fine. Each lab presents you with a scenario, a set of goals to accomplish, and requirements to meet. You will have access to the Terraform documentation and the cloud provider documentation during the exam, so you don't have to memorize everything. You'll also have access to the cloud provider portal and the cloud provider CLI to spot check things and get additional information. So what types of things will you be doing in the labs? Well, let's take a look at the exam objectives to find out. There are six high-level objectives for the Tau Pro certification. As of right now, the exam is going to be based on Terraform 1.6. So bear that in mind when thinking about what might be tested. Features released in later versions of Terraform are not going to be included. The objectives are manage resource lifecycle, develop and troubleshoot dynamic configuration, develop collaborative Terraform workflows, create, maintain, and use Terraform modules, configure and use Terraform providers, and collaborate on infrastructure as code using Terraform Cloud. Each objective is broken up into multiple sub-objectives, and I'm not going to try to go through all of them in this video, but I will try to focus on a few highlights. My plan is to make a series of videos that covers each of the objectives in more detail, so if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. The first objective, Manage Resource Lifecycle, is focused on performing the basic operations of Terraform, but at a more advanced level. Beyond simply knowing how to run init, plan, and apply, you should also know about the options for each command and how they can be used to manage existing resources. The one sub-objective I would pay the most attention to is the last one and it's manage resource state, including importing resources and reconciling resource drift. That is a lot more than a single sub-objective in my estimation. You will need to know how to import existing resources using the declarative method, how to deal with changes that happen outside of Terraform, and how to replace or move individual resources in your configuration. The next objective, Develop and Troubleshoot Dynamic Configuration, is all about expanding on the basic Terraform configuration language. You should be able to use data sources, input variables with complex data types, and transform data using functions and expressions. There's also a sub-objective about dealing with sensitive data and using HashiCorp Vault, which I don't love, I'd rather they leave Vault out of the exam, but I guess they needed to cite an example of dealing with sensitive data and wanted to keep that portion cloud agnostic. The next objective, develop collaborative Terraform workflows, is all about working with others in a team. You should be able to use remote state, workspaces, and version control to collaborate with your team. It also includes dealing with version constraints for Terraform, the providers, and modules. Create, maintain, and use Terraform modules does include using modules from the public registry or internally developed modules, but remember, this is a certification for producers, so you also need to be able to write your own modules 
and refactor existing configurations into modules. Configure and use Terraform providers is all about dealing with provider plugins. This includes things like cloud authentication, provider configuration, and meta arguments like alias and provider. If you haven't tried to pass an alias provider to a module, you might want to bone up on how to do that. The final objective, collaborate on infrastructure as code using Terraform Cloud, deals with Terraform Cloud. And here we move away from the Terraform Community Edition and into the Terraform Cloud specifics. You don't have to be an expert in Terraform Cloud, but you should know the basics of workspaces, runs, governance, and policy enforcement. I don't think there'll be a lab exercise involving Terraform Cloud, but you should be able to answer questions about how to use it. Okay, that's all the high level objectives. Like I said, I'll be making more videos that dive into each of these objectives in far more detail. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and keep an eye out for them. And if you happen to be a Pluralsight subscriber, I'll be making a course that covers all of this material as well. Speaking of ways to study for the exam, let's talk about some resources you can use to prepare. HashiCorp has already started putting together some study materials on their website for the Tau Pro exam. They have a study guide that covers the objectives and provides links to the relevant documentation, which I'll include in the description. Now, as I mentioned, I'll be creating videos that cover objectives in more detail, and I'll be creating a course for Pluralsight that covers the material in depth. And I'm currently working on a study guide that I'll be selling through LeanPub. If you've used my study guide for the Terraform Associate or Vault Associate exam, you know what to expect. I've only written the intro chapter so far, so that's very much a work in progress. I am pumped to see the Tau Pro certification move towards general availability. Many, many, many people have asked me about a pro certification for Terraform after they've passed their associate exam, and I had to tell them that it was it's in the works. Now it's getting closer to being a reality. How close? I don't know for sure. HashiCorp has not explicitly stated when the exam will be released, and I wouldn't expect it till at least the end of Q3 2024. Now that's just a guess and not some insider information I've been given. Given the higher degree of difficulty and the hands-on nature of the exam, it is going to require a lot more preparation than the associate exam. That's why I'm trying to get ahead of the curve and start creating prep material now. I'll create a dedicated playlist on YouTube for the Tau Pro exam, and I'll keep everyone updated on the progress of the course and the study guide. If you're interested in those, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Jeez, I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this video. Sorry about that. Anyway, thanks as always for watching. I hope you're as excited about the Tau Pro certification as I am. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Keep calm and terraform on. The lights. Hmm. I need my special lights. How else are you gonna stare into the depths of my blue eyes without these ridiculous lights shining into mine?